Now, the call for the passage of the Affirmation Action Bill to increase women's participation in national decision-making has been amplified by speakers at this year's Obasma Campus Tour. Now, participants further advocated conditions to promote gender equality and equity. The Lagan campus of the University of Ghana played host to female students from four tertiary institutions in this year's Obasima campus tour. Self-branding, teamwork and harnessing women's capabilities for individual and national building featured prominently among discussions. For us at Obasima, it is making sure that the average woman has every ability that she needs to be able to contribute her best. We are not about you know, women against men or men against women. No, we want to build a society that want to make sure that in building a society, in as much as our men are capable, our women are just as capable. After the 1995 Beijing conference, societal stigma and vilification have compelled most women to shy away from taking leadership roles, especially in politics and governance. But former Upper East Regional Minister Tangoba Abayege is confident women can do better for themselves when they remain focused towards their goals. Knowing your goals and then having everybody understand the goal and have the same vision. If you don't have the same vision, you might know the goal all right. But as I said in the presentation, how do we arrive at the goal is very important. So you've got to get a team to understand and flow along with it. Communication is very key. Leadership is very key. And then knowing each other's um, values. A former Deputy Transport Minister and a legal practitioner, Joyce Bawa Mokhtari, said although the number of women in the legislature has appreciated, more needs to be done, thus calling for the passage of the Affirmation Action Bill, which has been on the table for more than two decades. That there are some cultural biases and prejudices still at certain levels, especially in specific communities. And I use myself as an example coming from a community where there's a certain cultural uh, bias towards women, even in leadership. If you are not careful, those sorts of things can actually hold you back. There is an affirmative action bill that is currently in the pipeline. It still has not been passed. Hopefully, maybe when it's passed, we will get better representation. If a woman knows that she will come into this space and receive some support and be encouraged by other women, I'm sure she'll be happy to do so. It's easy to say that we had a conversation at Beijing conference, but the world has moved on from there. So we're not just campaigning about saying, go women, but we're saying, let there be equal opportunities for all. Acknowledge that, yes, there are differences, but we need the uniqueness of each and, and every um, body to make sure that we're, we're building a, a well-connected society. The campus tar will be replicated in other regions.